Saggies, how are you guys? Welcome in to your end of May reading. The end of May. I know, this one went by fast. Um, next week I'll be doing the June readings uh, for you Patreon folks. Um, those will be on Patreon. We are switching from Patreon to Ribbon at June 1st. So if you're on Patreon, there's a lot of information in there for you to understand, you know, how we're moving from one to the other. Um, and we'll be talking more about Ribbon in the days ahead and what that means. Pr basically, this is a place where you can get um, extended group kind of pricing and things like that. So more on that. We also do lives and stuff like that. So it's really fun. It's definitely a place for folks who are interested in the spiritual journey. That Thursday live is really amazing, really fun. All right, so any of that stuff, uh, go over to Patreon and learn more about it. In June, uh, because you guys have given us your thoughts about the past life regression and wanting some specific topics to focus on, we are gonna be doing two sessions in June. One of them is specifically about overcoming money blocks, using past life regression to overcome money, money blocks, being able to earn money, things like that. And then the second session is about Twin Flame. We're gonna be doing past life regression around Twin Flame. It's not up on the website yet, so you're not gonna see it yet, but I will announce it as soon as it shows up. You guys, my loyal viewers, will be the first to know. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So those things are happening in June. Mary Lee is going to be leading those. It's going to be amazing. Love to have you. Okay. Let's see where we go, Saggies. What is up with you, my darlings? What is up? Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. I love this card. This is like, oh, she's wearing a hat. A cow wearing a hat. Kind of love it. Cow spirit. Wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. Mm-hmm. Starfish, be open to infinite possibility. So we have endless uh, miracles, infinite possibility. And once in a while, people can disappoint you. They really can. Once in a while, people can disappoint you. And some of you may, and I've seen this with Sag as, you know, showing up in other readings. Saggies could be going, might have been going through some stuff. Okay. And, you know, it is hard it's easy to be optimistic and carefree when things are going great. When things are kind of flattening out or problematic, sometimes it's hard to really maintain your natural optimism, Sag. So I feel like you're just getting reminded that this too shall pass, okay? Whatever's going on with you, this too shall pass. So let's see here. Sag, yeah, five of cups. Some kind of sadness, some kind of loss. Six of swords, death. Ten of swords. Something is definitively over. Scorpio, ten of swords here. Wow. Page of cups, eight of cups. These are the two moving on cards. The six of swords. All right, six of swords and this eight of cups. Yes, this is Mary Jo's deck, Souls on Fire decks. <laughs> I don't use it all the time. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, page of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Swords. Woo! Knight of Cups, Strength, Nine of Wands. Look at that. Nine, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. So I feel like in the past, this was something that, you know, both of you kind of were helping each other or you were good to each other. There was some kind of, I mean, okay, level of immaturity in the relationship, but it was still pretty mutual, okay? You were helping each other. You guys were, were balanced and things like that. I feel like something changed. It's very, it's fairly drastic here. I feel like something changed. And one of you... You might have walked away from a situation and the other person felt very betrayed or you felt very betrayed and walked away from the situation. The other person doesn't really know what's going on here. I'm going to do some clarifying here. Please clarify the Ten of Swords. 
Three of Cups, Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. So the one who felt betrayed, I feel like other people might have been saying to you, this person's treating you badly or not, you know, not in your best interest or something like that. I feel like that was right. I feel like they were correct. Um, and then you started to really, it's one of those things where you started to, somebody might have made mention to you that like, that seems a little not good. And you, you look at things through a new lens. Other friends, family members are like, do you really think that's nice to do to somebody? And like, I don't know that you originally really thought too much about it. What I'm, what am I asking? I'm, I'm basically saying like, this person could have treated you a little bit badly, taken you for granted or, you know, just treated you badly. And your other friends are like, ew. And you're kind of like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? They open you up. So it does sting a little bit to know this. And I, then I feel like you kind of look through, you look through this relationship with different eyes after that. I think you finally are like, oh, there's something about this, this friendship or this love relationship or something that you give, you give them a huge benefit of the doubt. All right. And I feel like other people could be saying to you, oh, that seems kind of not good. And so then you feel very betrayed about it. I feel like if you walked away from this person, they might be having second thoughts about their behavior. They might be worried that it's over. Um, if this is a love relationship or whatever, I do think it's over for you because I feel like there's some kind of power and control game going on here. Strength and the nine of wands, like who is, you know, there might be a stalemate here. Okay. Nine of swords. Please clarify the nine of swords. Stalemate. I feel like there's a stalemate here. Ace of wands, another ace. Six of wands. Tower underneath. Ten of pentacles. Um, there's some kind of power game. All right. This person... Um, Th that's what's been created here. And I feel like you've never really fully understood what was going on. I feel like this other person may um, hold you in high esteem or they may be jealous of the high esteem you're getting from other people. They may be jealous of a situation. And I feel like um, they don't like seeing you do better than them. Okay, so there's a, definitely a stalemate here. What about the strength and nine of wands? Emperor, lovers, seven of cups. Um, Emperor, empress, lovers. So somebody, some of you could be dealing with a person who, if you are, if you have a new relationship in your life, if you've chosen um, a path that has, you know, really worked out for you, something that's, you know, really empowering for you, really good for you, I feel like um, this person wants to hold you back into the old way of doing things. They want to, you know, hold you back and not have you, they feel like you're moving away from them. They feel like this person is, is getting in the way. There's a third party that's getting in the way. Okay. But I also feel like that could be, so if you're married to this person, you could have like a new bestie. You could have a new job that takes all of your time. Okay. I feel like this person is, used to be the one who was always winning and you were kind of trailing along after them. Like, you know, in that, that cartoon, Hey Spike, want to play ball Spike? And Spike was like, I don't care. But then the little dog moves up in stature and then Spike is the one who wants to play with him. <laughs> okay. You know that cartoon. And I think that kind of shift in power balance here has happened. And it's, you know, causing a lot of upheaval. I think there's a lot of regrets here. I think there's opportunity here. The miracles are endless and open to infinite possibilities. open to infinite possibilities. 
Two of Wands, Empress, Seven of Wands, and Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're moving on with your life, okay? I feel like you're moving on with your life. You have endless possibilities. I, I don't feel like this person does. I feel like this person, they could, right? They could, but they're acting like their life is way limited, but yours is expanding, and so they don't understand how you're doing that or how that's working. Um, and I feel like so their go-to thing is just to either be jealous or be small or petty or what, or try to, you know, um, regain the power in the relationship by walking away or regain the power in the relationship by shutting you down or something like that. So I, I see a lot of signs here. I mean, I, obviously I see uh, Leo and Aries. So the other fire signs are here. Could be another fire sign. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Another fire sign, a Scorpio, Libra, Leo. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Leo's here too. Libra, Taurus. Okay, there's Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Leo, Scorpio. That's a lot. We're going to look at those in the extended. So I, I just feel like something is coming to an end here pretty abruptly. And it's because the balance of power is out of whack in this relationship, especially as it relates to this person, especially if you're the one who's gaining power now. That has really upended them, I think. They feel betrayed by the universe because of that. And so now it's about rebalancing this um, or letting it go, like moving on from this. All right. So we'll see which way we go. The link is below if you want to continue on with me, Sag. This is the end of May. See you over there.